started the brewery in 2009. Um, and we're looking at our four year anniversary next month. Last year we did about 2,000 barrels. Uh, this year we're shooting for about 3,500. Um, it's not a lot of beer, but the growth is, is pretty significant for us. Pub keg is something we decided to use because there was, there was really nothing else like it. There was a couple other uh, products like that in, out in the market and none of them had the durability. These guys have the durability, flexibility, and it integrates seamlessly into what we're doing at the brewery. The pub keg is CO2 purged, sanitized, and ready to go. All you gotta do is pretty much fill the thing and, and, uh, and that's it. We use our regular filling setup. We fill everything manually. So regular sand key uh, and reverse flow and fill her up. Kegs are actually really hard to clean for most of those folks out there that don't realize this. You know because the pub keg is all brand new material that it's perfect every time you will have more success with a product like this than you will with your stainless steel gags. Probably from the conception to actually getting open took us about five years of planning. And uh, we just celebrated uh, four years in business. So, so last year, uh, 2013, we did about 2,300 barrels of production. So for us, the next step is increasing our production slightly. We can only increase it so much in this building. But we have uh, just acquired a, a building and we're starting a, a brew pub project. Again, I think I get more hoppy flavor from this one. It's a little bit more bright. If you had to tell me that I have to drink one of these only, I would pick A. I really can't find it, like I said earlier, you're just searching for something different because you know that someone told you that they're different. <laughs> but if you didn't, you'd be serving pint after pint of one or the other and it would taste exactly the same. I think they're the same. They taste the same. They look the same. The beers are completely indistinguishable. Both of them have a really nice um, fresh hop, citrus aroma and flavor. You get a nice uh, slight sweetness from the malt in both and you really can't tell the difference between the two beers. So uh, how, was, uh, how was it working with the pub cake? I mean, it was it was just like any other keg, really. It was, it was fine. It was normal. <laughs> Some of the benefits for us have been getting into new markets faster, uh, lower cost of entry, um, guaranteeing a, a clean product once it gets there. Uh, just all around flexibility and ease of uh, growth. So first and foremost, uh, with other leasing options, when you place an order, uh, again, you've got a long lead time and you have to have a, a precise forecast about what you need. When you do get those kegs, they're going to arrive dirty and uh, you don't know what was filled in them before. So you're going to have to wash them. So from that start, with us, it's a 96 keg minimum order. The kegs are going to arrive clean, ready to be filled, so you're ready to ship and send them out. A retailer would then receive a, a keg that's never been filled before, that uh, is lightweight, and they're receiving it for only a $10 deposit, whereas opposed to a, another keg company or a wholesale company, you would have to pay a $30 to $50 to $75 deposit. The pressures in the craft brewing world really come down to 
to equipment and lead time and then running a business. Uh, a lot of guys want to want to have their own brewery, but they're not entirely savvy about how long it takes to get stuff, what it costs, and what it takes to run a, run a company. So the best part about the pub keg program is not only do you not have to worry about keg management or handling again, but you can confidently send your product out into the market because you know every time you're getting a keg from us, it's a brand new keg. There's no program like that.